welcome to week eight, is it? So I just, it is Friday, the 22nd or something. Yeah, the 22nd. And I woke up this morning and I felt like crap. I'm not a morning person. It usually takes me a minute to kind of like, ah, wake up and get out of bed. But today it was exceptionally difficult. It felt like I was in a coma. Like I was telling myself in my head, like I gotta get up, I gotta get up. But I couldn't just do it. I actually have my husband, he's like pushing me out of the bed, like get up, you gotta take the kids to school. And I, I mean, I went to bed at like 11 last night. I don't know what's been going on, but it's been difficult for me to wake up. And then I had like um, a sore throat and I was kind of croakly in my voice and um, boogery and all that amazing sexiness in the morning. And I just could not get up. So when I was texting with one of my friends and she told me she got up at five o'clock in the morning to go for a walk, I was like, crap, I am a lazy, like I'm sitting here like trying to like text back like half asleep or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I dropped off my son at school. I ran home. I changed and I went to the gym for an hour long Zumba class. And I am so glad I did. I kind of want to do a whole post on like your first Zumba class because I feel like a lot of the people I've talked to about taking one of those classes, they're really intimidated by it. They say they're not a dancer. They're, you know, intimidated by all the people in the room or things like that. So I kind of want to go into detail um, in that in a different post. But I love those classes. Like, I don't know what I would be without them. And I'm so glad I went. I'm hoping that it will rev my working out engine a little bit more. Because once I get into a flow, I totally go, like, Monday through Friday. But I haven't been able to get myself motivated enough to go while on this Nutrisystem program. And it's stupid. It's so stupid. Like, seriously, what am I thinking? Like, I could be fitting into that bikini in October that I want to for our vacation. But I'm not... I'm like setting myself up for failure. I'm drinking my water and I'm going to be better about drinking water. I feel like I've slacked a lot about that. So I have my bottle here. I'm going to make a cup of coffee like I usually do when I get home from the gym. Kind of keep that peppy energy still going and you know, kind of clear everything out in my system. And I will have my Nutrisystem lunch. I will have a Nutrisystem dinner. We are going to a pool party this evening for my son's school. So there's gonna be like all the hot moms there and you know, I'm going to have to be in a bathing suit if I'm going to watch my kids properly. Obviously going to be shedding pounds today just from one workout. I get that. That's not what I mean. Um, but I figured it would get my system going and, like I said, rev up that workout engine that I know is deep down inside of me. So I'm going to go take a shower and get out of these icky sticky clothes. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. That was the whole reason I wanted to do this. So... I'm wearing like literally my ultimate favorite for pieces to me workout outfit, okay? Like literally these are my cult classic favorite pieces. We got the Victoria's Secret bra. This is, has like a light padding in it and it's the one that crisscrosses in the back. Gosh, I'm terrible at this. You can't even see it, can you? But it's this one. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. And then my top is the one from Ellie Activewear. There's a little symbol. I had a review where I highlighted this. I love the back of it like that. Just a little detailing. It's not all black and all plain. And the pants are from Under Armour. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be telling you guys this, but I'm doing a campaign with them and I'm kind of highlighting a couple of different um, products from them. They sent them to me, but I am literally in love. Like, oh, like I need to buy more of these. And I'm not just saying that this is not the sponsored video or what anything like that. Like I legit wore these today and I'm loving them. So they're black, or maybe they're navy, because this is black. I don't know. They're the same color, right? It's hard to tell sometimes when it's like black and navy. And then on the back of the pant, oh my gosh. So on here, right on the knee, there's like this little cute little blue and this corally pink, which is right up my style, and the little emblem or whatever. I don't care about the emblem. I don't care who makes the clothes. I'm just... They're so like silky smooth, but still structured at the same time. Oh my gosh, they just feel like butter on my skin. And I, when I wore them to class, they didn't ride up or move on me, and they didn't bunt, like, like pinch me or anything like that, where I was like fixing my stomach or something like that. Like they were just so comfortable. And with dancing, like moving around in Zumba, like you're moving around a lot. So, and the shoes, oh my gosh, like I love my Brooks. Let me show you guys. So I have these Brooks too, and I uh, love them. Oh my gosh, I love the colors. I love the fit. I love that they have the corrective Archie thingy majigger. Now, 
I was wearing these to dance class, but they're a little, not that they're heavy, but they're like a little bit too heavy for Zumba. So I'm really glad that um, Under Armour sent me these ones because they're a little bit lighter, as you can see, and they're just kind of more like, I don't know, lighter is basically the only word I can come up with. Oh my gosh, they're getting dirty. I need to clean them. But the color is like this hot pink coral color, and oh my gosh, they're so freaking comfortable. Now, I still love these. I feel like these are going to be for days when I'm doing more like running or electrical treadmill kind of work. Maybe even some weights because it's got like a little bit of a, not a spring, but more of a structured heel like and face to it. Whereas these ones I feel like are a little more lighter, like I said. I really can't think of another term for them, but I really do love both of these. I think they are pretty pricey, both of them. But when it comes to shoes, I was jipping out of them. I was getting like the Payless ones and my feet were hurting so bad. And I have a knee injury. I have a really bad knee. So if I don't wear the proper shoe, which I never even thought of this, seriously, I'm not even gimmicking you right now, like legit, I never even thought of this until I got the Brooks a couple weeks or a couple months ago, it totally changed. Like my knee was hurting whenever I would squat down, I started wearing these and it was totally fine. And I'm like, how could a sh freaking shoe help with my knee, you know? So I don't know, just something to think about is I recommend do not jip out on your shoes, your feet kind of hold up the rest of your body obviously but it, it, it aligns it as well and just I don't know it just works that way <laughs> so I think I've gabbed enough about my workout outfit but how am I looking by the way guys actually this is, is this a shirt that I wear with my weigh-ins I think this is a shirt I wear for my weigh-ins I don't know I need my butt I want my butt like up here it needs to kind of lift up a little bit and I want to like trim a little bit more right here and definitely in my arms. I feel like that's somewhere I need to start working out. It's so easy for me to work out my legs and do squats and dance and all this stuff. Whereas moving my arm, I don't know. I'm, arms are difficult for me. It's not something I think about being a girl. I don't, I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. So, yeah. Okay, so here we are for a week eight to weigh in. And I don't know. We'll see. of a change from last week. Now being that this is my second month on Nutrisystem, I'm supposed to be doing a measurements this week, but I just feel so bloated. I don't even know if it's worth it. I feel like it's going to not even be remotely relevant, so I'll give it a try, but if it's terrible, I'll just leave this part out maybe and um, do it next week. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better. I just feel really puffy like everywhere, all over. I'm just bloated and nasty today. So I'll give it a try though. <laughs> We're at, it was 31 and a half. I'd say this is right at 42. Right at 42, maybe a little bit more, but we'll just go with what for. And the left eye is right at 26. All right, so it's not amazing again this week. It did go down, so woohoo but um, not a huge, huge difference. Although I was kind of hoping for one because I did so well this week. Uh, with the exception of one of the days during the week that we had ravioli as a whole family. I did eat that. Um, I did portion it out, but still. Uh, and last night, Sunday, is our big Italian family dinner, so I ate dinner with everyone else just as normal, you know. I even had dessert, so I will admit to that. But the rest of the week, I was amazing. I do feel like really puffy and bloated and probably because I ate a real, you know, family home cooked meal last night and not a Nutrisystem one. So I am going to probably try and remember to check back in later or maybe like do another weigh in tomorrow when I feel like a little more myself. Like I don't feel like how I felt all week, if that makes sense. Not thinking that the scale is going to go down a huge bit, but maybe with the measurements, I won't be like so puffy or something like that. 
Um, I have seen a little bit of a difference in the inches going down, as you can see on the waist. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm really positive. I'm still really positive that this system is working for me. And this is just the first week that I've gotten back into following it a little more strictly, having more vegetables, carrying my water bottle with me everywhere and making sure I'm actually drinking it. Um, and I'm, I'm positive that next week will be even better, I'm hoping. Let's get down into the 150s. I feel like that would be a perfect place for me to end my journey. I have one more month on this. And yeah, I, I, I'm staying hopeful. <laughs> and I'm about to go change, put a sports bra on. I don't feel like this gives me enough support. And put some yoga pants on and head over to a Zumba class at the gym. I took a Zumba class on Friday, as you saw earlier in the video. And I just... I miss it. I love it so much. I love seeing the ladies there. I've gotten to know like a couple of the girls and like say hi and you know make some new friends and things like that and that's always a good feeling is when you have somebody to kind of hold you accountable like I told them I was going to be there today so I better sure as hell get my you know workout gear on and go but yeah I guess that's it and I just I, I feel a little bit better about myself than I did when I first started this journey and that's all I can ask for so I said so a lot. Oh well. So and and. I kind of say those a lot. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through this journey. I look forward to talking to you next week or I might be checking back in with you a couple times this week and chatting with you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm going to go bust out my sprinkler moves at Zumba class. So I just got back from Zumba and let me just see that if you are ever embarrassed to go to a gym class, don't be. Because know that there is someone out there more awkward than you in the world and that is me. <laughs> Only I would knock down the instructor's phone which plays the music for the whole class with like 40 people in the classroom and stop the music dead song in the middle of the class. That would be me. It was dead silent. Like everyone was looking at me. Like, cause I was the only one that was like near the sound thing and my arm just went out and just being clumsy on me and I knocked it all over and her phone went like flying across the room and oh my gosh, I was just, I was just mortified. But you gotta pick yourself up and plug the phone back in and say you're sorry and keep on dancing. I finished out the class and kind of giggled and I said I was sorry and most so embarrassed though. In my heart, I was just like, <gasps> <laughs> so just know you are not alone <laughs> in the awkward world. <laughs> I'll see you guys.